All right, hey Pisces. So I'm just doing a quick energy check-in. Who's checking you out? Who's got their eyes on you? Who's spying on you? All that good stuff. Um, you guys are going to know this is your read by your energy and your hopes and fears when it comes to love. So if that does not resonate, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. You guys, I do hope that if you like my energy, you will subscribe. So let's just go ahead and see where Pisces energy is at. Pisces. Keep in mind it could be a confirmation read. Some of you guys, look at that. Your energy is on point, man. You got the night. It's like I'm not trying to rush into anything full of passion. You got some happily ever after um, coming in here with that Ten of Cups. So some of you guys could already have met somebody. And you just feel the energy is really, really, um, it's like moving forward. All right. Uh, it could be moving forward in such a way that you kind of want it to slow down a little bit with that Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, because you have been through the ringer. That's a wounded warrior card. Um, but you know what? Whatever you guys have been through and faced, all your challenges, um, it's not, your energy is really in the exact spot it should be to call in love and especially new love right um new love beginnings and endings you got passion and then we got the happily ever after all right and i feel it is through that slowness um the slow and steady rate the slow and steady pace right no need to rush it and you guys if you haven't met anybody it could just be like i know it's going to come to me I know without a doubt I've worked on myself. I've, I've, you know, done a lot of healing when it comes to the past wounds and all that other bad negative stuff. And I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for my happily ever after because I deserve it. Right? So let's see what your hopes and fears are when it comes to love. Your hopes and fears. Look at the ice queen popping out here. The cold as ice card. Um, all right. So we got this Queen of Swords. That was the first thing that popped out that I seen. Okay. Um, so really it's like you don't, it, it, you guys could have been connected to somebody who in the past was really, really cold, really sarcastic. Um, you know, um, it's okay to have a dry sense of humor to, and to be sarcastic, um, you know, when it's all jokes and fun and games. But I really kind of feel like it's, you know, and it could be too that you dealt with somebody in the past that was kind of dishonest, um, had a... Uh, no loyalty, you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody who had a lot of other energies around influencing the uh, dynamic of the connection, you know? And it's like really where you're at is wanting to move away from that. So if you got drama, don't bring it over here, right? The Five of Pentacles, obviously, you don't want anybody leaving you high and dry. Um, ghosting, you know? Um, um, just being an A, right? Being an A-hole. That's really what I'm kind of seeing right here. Um, you know, but there is a, a sense of di a directness. Let's be honest. Let's be truthful. Let's set boundaries and let's be clear from the start on what we want. And that could be something that you've never had in the past or um, that was taken for granted in the past, you know? And really what I see is you wanting to move away from people who um, are liars. They don't have self-respect or respect for others. They, you know, ghosters, manipulators, people who are just all about themselves, really. You're moving away from that. And I really feel like the hope is just like the next person that comes into my life, they're not like this, but we can move forward. Okay. Um, but think about the hopes and the type of relationship or dynamic you want to call in. And don't focus so much on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. So I'm going to pull to see what energies are around you, who's drawn to you. It could be more than one. All right, let's see, Pisces, who's checking you out? Who's checking out Pisces? Oh, yes, I love it, you guys. You got more than one person. You got more than one person. Okay, and I'm going to tell you this. If you guys have an ex... As we've seen in that Queen of Swords energy. I'm going to tell you this. This X is still here. Okay. That's Gemini. And we have Virgo coming through. Or Earth and Air. All right. Um, it doesn't matter. I feel like you guys definitely have two. Earth and Air signs coming through with the new love. Okay. So I'm going to tell you. If you guys have recently met somebody brand spanking new. I feel like it's triggering the X's uh, attention. And the reason why I keep saying X is because the Queen of Swords came through. Uh, it came through. And the six of swords actually dropped in reverse, but I didn't, I popped it in the upright because ultimately you want somebody you can move forward with, not be stuck with. And I kind of feel like this person that you could have been stuck with in the past, that just kind of left you hanging or high and dry. I definitely feel like their energy is, uh, intrigued by you again. 
It could be because you've met somebody or it could just be because your self-esteem and your energy is on point um, that you're attracting more than one person. Okay, so I'm going to say you got somebody coming through with, um, this is a leadership. This is somebody who's very secure and they're, they know themselves. All right, this is somebody who potentially has um, good wealth. Not that that's the main thing um, because the King of Swords is actually a wealth card too, but he's coming through in reverse. And I'm going to keep it like that because I kind of feel like the person that you dealt with in the past may have manipulated you, lied to you, um, misused their power when it came to you. Okay, so let's just see a little bit more about this energy coming through here. We got our three. All right, look at that. We have the Seven of Cups coming through and the Eight of Swords. Look at it. I, I feel like you guys, okay, so here's what's going to happen. I feel like you guys are dealing with one person that can't take you. It's like I can't, get, I can't get you off my mind. Potentially, it's because they see that you have options and we have the Sun card right here. All right, so I kind of feel like, um, you know, like I feel like with person from the past, it's like I can't get you out of my head ever since everything has kind of transpired. Okay, give me another opportunity and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, meanwhile, we have the new energy coming through with that Ace of Cups and that King of Pentacles in the upright. And I feel like the opportunities right here is what this person wants to bless you with is this happiness. All right, no toxic behavior. We're not doing toxic, you know, we're, we're, we're done with toxic. You know, I just kind of feel like that's what's happening with these two energies. Um, you know, and you got free will, so I can't tell you guys what to do. I can only give you advice. All right. Um, so let's just see, uh, I, you know, let's just see what, the, uh, what their hopes and fears are. Gosh, the swords just keep coming through. Okay. You got some X energy showing up. It's almost like blocking the new person from coming through. All right. It's like it, it, this right here is fear. I feel like it's person one or the, the king of swords energy. I don't want to lose you. Okay. That's what I feel is coming through with that king of swords in reverse. They don't want to lose you. You guys could have been married or deeply committed to this person in the past and it kind of flailed all apart. And this is all fear. So what I'm going to do is I got to pull another round for that king of pentacles that's trying to come through. All right. Let's see what the king of pentacles got going on. Hopes and fears. We got the star card. Look at that. Let me be your wish fulfillment. The hermit card. I'll give you your space. I'll give you your independence. I'm not going to drown you with my energy. We have the six of wands. Let's move forward. All right. I feel like one of them's coming in to try to make your day and your night. And the other one's coming through. And um, it's, it's more about fear of loss. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the naughty deck and I'm just going to set a quick intention on this for it to be the new person. Because if you've had, um, obviously, sexual experiences with this person from the past, I, I don't want to bring anything up like that. So I'm just going to pull desires from the new person's perspective. From the king of pentacles that's coming through. And it could be just an influence in this person's chart, you guys. All right, so from, from the King of Pentacles perspective, fantasies and desires. All right, we got the Six of Cups. Just let me treat you right. Let me treat you right. The Six of Swords coming through, moving forward. The Knight of Water, and we have the Eight of Cups coming through. Let me come to you. Just let me take you away from whatever it was that you've dealt with. This is real positive energy. And it's it's like in the flow of love. It's the energy of love. Let me take you on dates. Let me open the door for you. Or let me let me get your plate for you. Let me serve you. You know, this right here is it's charming. It's like let me it's just like it's, it's somebody who is not afraid to use their imagination when it comes to important things like passion and love making and it's like moving forward right here. I feel like this person just wants to come and scoop you up. Like, don't take anybody from your past. Take me. You know, this person, you could potentially know who this is. And they could potentially know about your situation with whatever is going on in your past. All right. So let's just see what they're... Um, I, I just want to see intentions. Intentions coming through. You got one coming through as a wounded warrior. And you got one coming through to capture your heart. And I feel like it's that eight of, or the king of pentacles. We got the magician card coming through. 
All right, and the magician card is a communication. It's a travel card. It's like, let's make stuff happen. Let's get stuff done together card. Okay, and I'm not gonna put it past the king of swords that, that they can't do that. But what I'm gonna say is I feel like, you know, with that king of pentacles, um, I just feel like they, they have a lot of faith in themselves that their potential is real great to make stuff happen with you. But if you guys are still hanging on to that person from the past, that's definitely gotta be something that's over with. Intentions, Hierophant coming, the fact that that card is coming through, this is marriage, it's commitment, okay? And I'm not going to put it past it. Either of these influences will not want that with you. So let's just see what the next move is in the next 30 days. The next move, what do you guys have? We got the Knight of, um, yep, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Would you guys believe that? Ain't that some shit right there? We have the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And in the next 30 days, it's like there's going to be a clash coming through here. Okay. We got Justice card coming through and we have the Three of, of Wands. Okay. Obviously, the advice right here, you guys, is to go with what your heart says. Go with what your heart speaks to you. Do what, you, do what your heart says to do. Uh, if you feel like giving person from the past a chance, give it to them. If you feel like, no, I want a new opportunity, then do that. Do what, do what your, is in your heart, you guys. Okay, look at that. But mostly take care of yourself. All right, this is your life. Don't try to make anybody happy. Uh, don't do anything out of, out of you know, because uh, you don't, don't demote your own happiness to make somebody else happy. All right, a lot of three, three, three. We got three of wands, three of cups, three of uh, pentacles. That could be a sign for some of you. Okay, and we got six of cups coming through twice. All right, so I feel like, you know, oh, mostly take care of yourself, all right, because that's the person that comes first. We have the Six of Cups coming through, and it comes through on that one new energy, and it comes through here at the end, and I just feel like do what do whatever's going to make your heart happy, all right? Either way, you guys have this opportunity coming through, and I feel like happiness is in your corner. You got your angels and spirit guides on your side, and th the Three of Pentacles, to me, is a very, very important card from building from the foundation up and growing, all right? So you guys are going to have to make a choice, but do make the choice the one that makes you happy. If I was your friend, I know what I would tell you to do, but I can't do that. All right. Okay. Pisces. Initials coming through. We have BB. MO. Q and F. And that could be yours. Uh, the other person's or the other person's initials. If the initials aren't here, you guys, it's fine as long as you resonate with the energy of the cards. Pisces, take care.